Hi everybody, just wanted to uh, go over one of the homework problems from last night um, I assigned. When, when we're looking at these graphs, <clears throat> we wanted to find the values of x greater than 0 for which 2 to the x is greater than or equal to 3 to the, or x cubed. Sorry. Um, and this is similar to what we were doing here where we looked at two graphs, one uh, an exponential function, one a power function. And we wanted to look at it in terms of different windows. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go into my calculator. I'm going to add a graphs page. And I'm going to type in 2 to the x first. And I can see that graph. And then I'm also going to type in the other graph, which is, in this case, x to the third. This is for the first problem. And we want to see where is 2 to the x greater than x to the third. And so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the window, and I'm going to change the window so that it's um, only working with positive x values. And I'm actually going to shrink in the um, x coordinates, and I'm going to look at it from 0 to 3 and 0 to 8, kind of similar to what we did in class. And you can see right here that 2 to the x is this blue graph. Now, where is it greater than the red graph? Well, when it's above the red graph. And so between 0 and whatever this point is, is when 2 to the x is greater than x cubed. So how do we find that point? We just go ahead and we go menu, analyze graph. We want to find the intersection. I'm going to go to the left bound and the right bound. And so when x is 1.373, or 2 to the x is bigger than x cubed. So when x is between 0 and 1.373 is the first part. Now, if this were to continue on, then so be it. But we're looking at just a small part of the graph. And so what I want to do is I want to look at even a bigger window. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the window here. Go to Window Settings again. And instead of 0 to 3, I'm going to go 0 to 6 and 0 to 25 on the Y. Again, it looks like the red graph, X cubed, is still bigger than 2 to the X. But let's make it one more um, window bigger. And we're going to go ahead here, Window Zooms setting. And we're going to go ahead to go to 0 to 20 and 0 to 1,000. When I look at that, we can kind of see that they're starting to intersect again right here. Now, it's kind of hard to see because, again, the window. But I'm going to make the Y max a little bit bigger. I'll make it uh, 1,500 here. <clears throat> And when I do that, now I can see that they intersect again here, and then 2 to the x is bigger again. So let's go ahead and find that intersection point. Analyze graph, intersection, left bound, right bound. And now, when x is bigger than 9.940, if I round, 2 to the x is bigger. We could look and see, you know, is it going to change again? I'll let you know. It doesn't, okay? But uh, basically, you keep messing around with the windows, and that's what you have to do for 2, 3, 4, and 5, is kind of look at those. And so my final answer back here to this problem would be for what values of x? Well, it's when x is greater than 0, but less than 1.373. And when x is greater than 9.940. If you want to write it in an interval notation, because it's greater than or equal to, we can include those points. And so you can go 0, comma, 1.373. And then we'd write in the union. I don't have, oh, that'll work. And then we'll go 9.940 to infinity. I don't know. And there's our intervals where x is greater than, or 2 to the x is greater than or equal to x to the third.